Usually when people bring up the Dunning-Kruger effect, the cognitive bias you've undoubtedly heard of, where novices tend to overestimate their ability in a given domain, when people bring it up, they usually mean it as a way to insult someone and imply that they are arrogant. It's often cited against people who behave as if they are smarter than experts. But that doesn't make much sense. Because in the original Dunning-Kruger study, the people who scored in the bottom quartile of test did not believe themselves to be better than anyone else. They just had the largest gap between competence and confidence. And this is the biggest misunderstanding of what the Dunning-Kruger effect actually is, when all it implies is that people are bad at self-assessing their own ability, uh, and especially the less they know about the field. We sort of default to just being a little better than average. So instead of the Dunning-Kruger effect, what might be a better explanation sometimes is the beginner's bubble. Where, for example, studies have been done where people learn to diagnose a fictional zombie disease. And as they got a little experience, they had a rapid increase in confidence, and with that came, quote, error-filled theorizing about how to approach the task formed after just a few learning experiences.